going to warranty you. Yeah. Yeah. No, open the door. Right. If you can get in there. We'll explain what's going on as soon as we come in. We're going to need to open the door now or we're going to have to force entry. Investigators from the England illegal money lending team are targeting an alleged illegal money lender or loan shark. Interest rates normally are about 100%. You borrow £100, you'll, you'll pay back 200 So what you end up with is individuals that are, are really uh, in financial difficulty and then they're being pushed further and further into debt. The team's investigators work closely with local police forces on tracking illegal money lenders. It's funded by the government and overseen by the Financial Conduct Authority. They've helped 30,000 people since they started nearly 20 years ago and written off over £87 million worth of illegal debt. We investigate people that lend money to other people. Hang on, hang on. The money lending business is booming, according to those lending the cash. With more regulation around payday loans and home credit, there are limited options for those who struggle to borrow money. More people are potentially being forced to use loan sharks who offer cash loans without any paperwork, but it comes at a price. Not just exorbitant rates of interest, but sometimes threats of violence. I am outside your house, and you don't want me outside your house. Newsnight has spoken to two loan sharks. They would only speak to us anonymously because they're involved in illegal activity. We spoke to them because we wanted to understand why more people are turning to them and how they exploit those desperate enough to use their services. Dee tells us he's an enforcer. He collects debts. We're not using his real name. He says he's lent money to hundreds of people, from £500 right up to £100,000. And what happens if somebody can't pay their debt back? It depends on who it is or what relationship we've got. Like the ones that seriously take the piss have no intention of paying you. They're the ones in trouble. What does trouble mean? Replace your vehicle, replace your windows, your door, broken nose, smashed up eye sockets. They're going to wish they paid me. They get a chance to explain themselves. Usually it's once or twice. And that's it. I'm not texting you. I'm not following you. I am outside your house. And you don't want me outside your house. Does it have to be so brutal when these are vulnerable people who've come... The ones, that, the ones it happens to aren't the vulnerable ones. They're borrowing money to make money. These people can pay me back. They can. I see it as they don't want to. Sometimes I think it's my own fault coming across so nice. An easy-going gentleman when they think they can take the kindness for weakness. Would you say with the cost of living going up, people are generally going more to illegal yes, money yeah. lenders? They're defaulting on their loans, on their mortgages. They're defaulting on their credit cards. I help. That's how you see it? That's how I see it. But listen, I might have someone do damage to their property or physically harm them, but it's just the same with the banks. You miss your payments, they're repossessing you, taking property away from you, your assets, and you're on the street. Same thing, you're just saying you in a different way. There's no paperwork and no credit check for a reason, and that reason is you're not protected. They're not checking your credit history because they don't care if you can pay it back. They will absolutely bleed you dry. Maybe they threaten you explicitly in terms of physical harm, or it may be subtler than that. A lot of the time it's much more about being in someone's head than it is about breaking their legs. There's no such thing as an average loan shark anymore. A fifth of those arrested by Kath Waller's team last year were female, and some were in their 70s. New research from non-profit Fair For All Finance and fraud prevention firm We Fight Fraud shows illegal money lenders could be businessmen, religious leaders and working men and women. Most illegal lenders had fairly prominent positions within their communities. The authors of this report spoke to more than 200 current and former clients, as well as eight illegal lenders. The research can't be generalised, but it found that while violence is still used, it's rarer than you might think. Back in the day, it used to be a very bully boy business, but now everything's evolved. We consider ourselves businessmen now, and we try and act in a business-like fashion. This is a different loan shark to earlier, M, who says he rarely, if ever, uses violence. He claims to run a team of illegal moneylenders and says he even lends to pop stars and footballers. Once you punch someone or bully them, the, the threat's no good. It's better to have that fear, that intimidation or that coercion. Maybe someone will go and knock on your neighbour's door and their conversation will go like, oh, is he okay? 
because he's borrowed some money off of me and all of a sudden I can't get in touch with him. Pictures outside your house, that type of thing. Showing up at work, showing up outside the house, that is terrifying. Um, then pay. Current and former clients the authors of the report spoke to described the impact it had on their lives, from the huge interest rates to the threats and intimidation. Others described the struggle to get credit in the first place. Industry figures are keen to highlight that other borrowing options are out there though, such as community lenders or credit unions. As prices continue to rise, business for illegal money lenders isn't likely to slow, but as Kath Wallace warns, the cost can be very steep. If you are in debt, speak to your creditors, have conversations there rather than borrowing more money to get out of it. I've seen what it does to lives and it just isn't worth it.